the banana farm, the most powerful tower in the game, generating money each round that you can collect. Very powerful, as you can see. The top hat focuses on increasing the amount of money you get, with the, th the third tier making you get 16 bananas per round. Which are worth twenty dollars each. Do the math by yourself. I'm too lazy. But then, once you upgrade it to a tier four, it produces five crates each round that are worth three hundred dollars each, as you can see here. But when you upgrade it to Banana Century, it will gain a crate pr a price increase. To $1,200, as well as buffing other banana f other banana plantation research facilities, yes, banana plantation research facilities, to gain 75 extra money per crate. Very powerful. Next up on the list is the middle path. Its first upgrade is just makes the bananas last longer for you to collect. However, its second upgrade is very, very powerful. It increases the worth of each banana dropped by 25%. Very powerful. Next is the monkey bank. The monkey bank generates money each round. And that money gets increased by 15% after each round. And with monkey knowledge, you can deposit money into that bank so that it will gain interest. Very powerful. However, it does have a cap of around $9,000. Then there's the IMF loan. It has an ability that, surprisingly enough, has a catch. The catch is that when you use the ability, it will give you ten thousand dollars for free, but at a cost. That makes no sense. But anyways, what happens is that you will have to pay off your debt. So you have to pay ten thousand dollars back to the bank. Every fifty percent of the cash that you generate will go to paying off your debt. As you can see, I now have a little debt counter up there. Next up is the monkey nomics. The ability is simple, so I'm not going to make you wait until it recharges. It just gives you a free $10,000. And now for the bottom path. First up, it just gives you, if you don't pick up the banana that it creates, It'll pick them up for you, but at half the price. Next is the banana salvage, which instead of making it half the price, it's only 80% of the price. And then marketplace generates money and gives it to your total money. No fuss, nothing else other than that. Then there's central market, generates more money. And then monkey wall street, generates more money, but also it generates 10 lives per round up until you have 1,000 lives. After that, it'll just give you one life per round. Still, though, very powerful. And now for the funny part of the video. One farm, two farm, red farm, blue farm. And now, more farm, even more farm, 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 farm. That's all player three did all day. He just wanted to farm, farm, farm. He wanted money, 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 and he would never give it away. He would just have money. He would never use it any day. All he would do was hoard it and hoard it, and never find a way to use any of it. Other players would ask for donations, 
He just said, get your own munitions. All he did was make money and make money, never helping out player one, two, or four. While they were helplessly fighting balloons, all he did there was sit while his friends were asking for balloons. Now he is very, very rich, but then realized that there was a cost. He had made his entire team face a loss. Due to his farming, 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 he never helped his team a bit. All he did was sit there and didn't care a bit. Thank you for listening to my fabulous little rhyme. I do it all the time. Totally didn't just create this on the spot. And that will be all for today, you little dots.